during the Dunkelweizen boil, I bottled the English IPA. <laughs> Jesus, that's a big dog. Yeah, yep. So, I'm doing a, uh, I just bottled my English IPA and I didn't quite have enough to fill in the last bottle. I'm gonna do a quick tasting before it carbonates because I have this theory that oxygen gets in and then as a bottle conditions that oxygen attaches to it and then it just gets oxidized in the bottle. So this is fresh and now it's uncarbonated but I need to compare because I'm going crazy with my hoppy beer that's bottle conditioned. Now I did hop this with American hops so it's definitely gonna be a little bit skewed. It's a somewhat of American-ish ending to this. However, the smell is incredible. I mean, huge citrus, floral, like a little mango in there, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful aroma. And if this does not transfer into that bottle conditioned beer, then I might not bottle condition a hoppy beer from here on out. Just keg it. The taste is good. I'd say it's definitely <laughs> flat. It's a little more bitter than it should be probably. It definitely leans more toward the West Coast IPA sort of taste to it. But I haven't had a lot of English IPAs, but I think it should be a maltier uh, for the style. Okay, so that's an early, early review. In about a week and a half, two weeks, I'll do a full review. And uh, uh, let's clip to that right now. All right, here we are. Another tasting, another day. I got Sarah with me here. Uh, she did tasting with me, I don't know, about a month ago or so and she's back for more. So today we're tasting the English IPA. I just opened it. It is carbonated, which is fantastic. I'm gonna link the recipe below in, in the description uh, so you can read it there, but basically it's 83% it's Maris Otter, 7% Asimol because of my water, 6% Brown Malt, and 3% Crystal 40. The starting gravity was about uh, 1061. The IBUs are 47, and the uh, SRM is about 10. And the hops I used were Challenger and in East Kent Goldings, but I dry hopped with Northern Brewer and Galena. So it's definitely um, more of an American dry hopped version. And not only that, I don't think they really dry hop English IPAs that often, if at all, from in England. It's not really a classic thing you see, but I did it this time because I love dry hopping and I wanted to see if I could just throw a little bit more oomph to it. So it's not like a perfectly classic English IPA. Dry hopping makes West Coast IPAs? Yeah. You can dry hop an English IPA too, but that, that aroma is mm -hmm. dry hopping and English IPAs don't necessarily have like a huge hot punch of aroma. Right. Smells good. Smells all right. That's not bad actually. I said this probably a hundred times in my videos. It's pretty tasty. I absolutely hate bottling hoppy beer because it just, I introduce, ox I introduce oxygen into the system and that can transfer into the bottle and hops and oxygen don't work well. Yeah, this could, it just gets oxidized super quickly, but this is this not... This doesn't seem oxidized. No, it doesn't, which is good. <clears throat> and it's not sweet. No. I thought it'd be sweet. <coughs> I think dry hopping this saved it. I think it would be a little on the sweet side, on the smell at least, like a sort of a honeyness to it, but... I think it tastes good. It's not honeyed, it's... Yeah, the bitterness is good. Um, it's like a clean bitterness. I'm not any sort of exact bitterness, any sort of hot flavor that you're, that's sticking out to you. Whether it be citrus, floral, like it's uh, fruit. It's like bitter. It is bitter. It is bitter. Yeah. Um, 47 IBUs, it tastes higher, it tastes like 60. Color is good on it, I think. It's a little murky, but I think I think it's relatively okay for the style. Uh, but, you know, especially if it's in a cask, it's gonna be murky. Is that how English IPAs were served often? Mm -hmm. Cask? Yeah, before refrigeration especially. I mean, actually, I, this is probably one of my more drinkable hoppy it beers is. I've made bottled. That's bottled. In a while. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a good recipe. I think it's a good color for the style. So, um, is that it? Anything else? I think it was delicious. I actually like this. It's yeah. quite drinkable. Yeah, I think we yeah. got it. Uh, until next time, happy brewing out there.